If you want to trigger a SAP over at Sapier, then it's really easy to do so. We have a specific action. If we go here towards actions, we can go towards integrations. And from here, we can say trigger Sapier. If we say edit actions, we are able to put in an event name. So if we are going with an event name, let's say UJet demo, press save. If we publish this, we should be able to use this event name directly inside of a Zap. If we go over towards Sapier, we will be able to change our trigger towards UChat. From here, the event will be, as you can see here, trigger Zap. And if we say continue, then you need to select your account. If we say continue here, you can also say refresh fields. And if we take a look at the event name dropdown, we should see the correct event name. As you can see, we now have UJet demo. We can then press continue and we can now test the trigger. Let's say test trigger. As you can see, it will pull in some dummy data from the current user at your disposal. You can use any of these fields in your next follow-up. So for example, if you want to export them towards a Google Sheet or your own CRM, you can easily do so.